You first want to grab two of these longer signs from Dollar Tree. And these signs were actually pretty great to work with. Super easy to cut because they pretty much looked like faux shiplap. So all I did was just use a very sharp box cutter. And I'm just cutting one of those slats right off. So just keep working the box cutter into the sign. Eventually it'll bend and then just finish by using the box cutter again until it just snaps right off. And then go ahead and give that edge a good sanding. Put those two signs together and then I'll just be using some jumbo craft sticks. And I am using some Dollar Tree adhesive glue or you could use E6000 with a mixture of hot glue to put those popsicle sticks on the back of those signs. I then got these wooden farmhouse animals, also came from Dollar Tree. You wanna just put some heat on the bottom of those because I really wanted to take those wooden holders right off. So just work slow with this. Once you have it heat set, it should kind of melt off some of the hot glue that Dollar Tree uses to hold that together and then just kind of will wiggle it right off, cut off any excess pieces, and then give those a good sanding. Then go ahead and grab that long sign and just find good placements. For the farm animals, you wanna make sure that they're nice and even. And before I glue them down, I did just mark off the bottom of them just so I don't lose my spot of where I want them to be glued down. So again, just use that Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue to adhere those onto the sign. And look at how adorable this is. I then got these plastic baskets from Dollar Tree. They did come in a three pack. First, I'm going in with Waverly Chalk Paints in the color ink. I wanted a darker bottom coat, so that's why I started off with this. Just using a Dollar Tree cut up sponge to apply that black paint all throughout these baskets. Let that dry, and then I'll be using Waverly Chalk Paints in the color Elephant, which is a darker gray chalk paint and Waverly in the color Mineral, which is a lighter gray chalk paint. Starting with the color Elephant, just dab that right on. And I was okay with some of the black still kind of peeking through. Let that dry and then go over it with the Mineral chalk paints. And when you're doing the lighter gray color, you wanna just make sure you are doing light dabbing motion. So that way you could get all three of those colors just kind of peeking through. You got the black, dark gray, and the light gray. And it leaves you with a galvanized look. Then you want to just find a good placement for the baskets underneath each of the animals. Again, I'm marking where I want these to be. And I'm also marking where I want to drill my holes. So I am using my little drill bit and just drill two holes right next to each other, but you do want a total of four holes underneath each of the farm animals. And then go ahead and grab your basket. I'm just gonna be using a zip tie to hold these together. So since you have four holes on the back and two of them right next to each other, just place the zip tie through one of the holes and then out of the other hole that are right next to each other. And just do that to all three. And then just for some extra support, I did end up adding some hot glue on the bottom of the baskets. And then you could just fill this up with whatever you like. I recommend doing some lighter items because this is for decoration only. And there you go, guys. I think this came out absolutely adorable. Great for your farmhouse kitchen decor. I hope it inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.